Okay, we're all ready? Speak. Hi. <clears throat> that was bad. <sighs> I gotta do that one over. Should I start from the beginning or the second part? Hi, I'm Tamara Noble. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I live in Homewood, an all-black neighborhood. One day, a group of documentary filmmakers showed up at my school. They went to different classes, asking students to participate in a film about why black people have more HIV AIDS than any other race. They said they wanted to make this film with us, working together as a team. But still, most of us didn't want anything to do with it. I, I think everybody's just afraid to listen, you know, because you, you'll find out something either you didn't know or you didn't want to know. An estimated 14 million people in Africa died of HIV AIDS in just eight years, between 2000 and 2008. It's an African holocaust, and the world doesn't care enough to stop it. There's an HIV AIDS epidemic in black America as well. Between 20 and 30,000 black people in this country get infected with HIV every year. In the year 2006, black people accounted for 45%, almost half of the HIV infections in America, even though we are only about 13% of the population. In 2007, African Americans were 46% of people living with HIV in this country. That figure is based on the confidential name-based records that are kept in 37 states and five dependent areas throughout the U.S. So what is HIV AIDS? AIDS is a disease that destroys your body's immune system. HIV is the virus that causes it. The virus enters your body through moist tissues in the vagina, anus, and mouth. It attaches itself to cells and infects them. HIV can also get inside you through a cut or an open wound. From there, it goes into your bloodstream and starts making more of itself. Within days, you are infected and you stay infected for life. Finally, a few of us agreed to work on the film. There were 20 of us. We were 14 to 17 years old. The project lasted a year and a half. We watched video presentations. We shot footage. We interviewed all kinds of people, heterosexual, and homosexual, scientists from Africa and America, as well as people who live in our own neighborhood. In charge when you're the interview, you can lead the conversation to wherever you want to go. Some scientists say we have more HIV because of our African ancestry. We have more HIV because of our secrecy and shame about the virus, our homophobia, and the difference in power between men and women in our communities. We also found out how HIV is connected to our poverty, our high rates of imprisonment, and even the way we are often pushed out of our neighborhoods. You can't see our faces or know our names because we were under 18 and because we were research subjects in this project. I'm on camera because I got a job working with the filmmakers after I graduated. I helped write and edit this film, and then they asked me to narrate it to tell the story of what we experienced and what we learned. We're all here. We're all able to be infected no matter how old or young or whatever color you may be, whatever religion you may be. We all need to pay attention and learn something.